grew up here in Charleston, and the art I was surrounded by was mostly things like landscapes and paintings of architectural landmarks, ducks. Um, there wasn't a lot of progressive contemporary art and the Halsey is a great place because it is showing an alternative to what the cliches of, of Charleston art are. My experience with the Halsey is that the shows here are unique to anything else you're going to see in Charleston and potentially anywhere. The Halsey is a contemporary art museum in Charleston, South Carolina. It's part of the College of Charleston campus, but faces out into the community. We're a non-collecting museum, which I think liberates us to really be adventurous and innovative with programming. When I think about the Halsey, it just seems to be alive in every capacity. There's nothing collecting dust around here, whether it's art or ideas. Nothing feels stale. I would always use the mainstream art world as a sort of contrast to what the Halsey does. You know, the commercial aspect in, in New York, you know, and, and, you know, artists jockeying for position and, you know, am I a famous artist and that kind of thing. I'm not necessarily interested in who the hot artist is right now. I'm interested in the artists that really have something interesting to say. So look at the Art in America or Art News magazines, like, yeah, okay, I'll through that, whatever. You know, toss it off to the side, never to be looked at again. I really don't care, you know. <laughs> So I think that that's the role that the Halsey plays, you know, bringing good art, you know, not just famous art, but good art, you know, to the community, to the world, basically. Not following what art world trends are happening, but a personal vision is what ultimately makes great art. And I feel like the work I see here in the Halsey is spectacular, whether it is aligned with what the art world's most dominant ideas of art aesthetics and, and concepts are at that moment. I think that the work that comes through the Halsey will stand the test of time because it is extraordinary. Halsey's mission is really to demystify the art experience. It's really about accessibility. College students are invited to come in. Professors are you know, invited to bring their classes. I've already spoken to two high school classes in the last couple of days. And you know, the whole idea that they bring kids in to have a conversation with the artist firsthand, I think is great. A lot of times you go into a museum and you'll see works hanging on the wall and it's like there's no connection between the artist and you know, the work that's hanging there. You see the work, you enjoy the work, but then you go home and that's it. But the whole thing is making sure that there are times when the community can come in and connect with the artist. The way the Halsey conceives and executes exhibitions, there's so much artist involvement. Since we're not collecting, it's not a gallery, the money part of art is completely removed. So I feel like artists feel liberated in a certain sense to try different things. Having an institution like that on this college campus and for you know and, and students can just walk through there and go to the exhibitions i think that they're going to take something away with them that enables them to really take art seriously on a different level when they finally get out into the world whether they're art students who have a really intimate relationship with the halsey or people just passing through the building it's all about the quality shows that they present whether the students take advantage of that now or not i think that one day they'll realize what a gem that they had here right on campus with them the staff puts a lot of work into these shows between the catalog and the programming and the way it's hung and how it's curated, all of that. It's nice for it to have another life somewhere else and I think that might be one of our greatest sort of emissaries into the world is actually having these curated shows travel. 
it's incubating and facilitating great projects for people. And I think that the more people are able to see that locally, the more local artists will, will feel empowered to pursue whatever their vision is without thinking about the framework. I love that approach because I think art is, a, is such an incredible tool of communication, inspiration, that it shouldn't be predictable. And when you, when you follow what's in vogue in the gallery world, it becomes a little predictable often. Charleston has been so well known for so long about its beautiful buildings and its history, the architecture, and the food, and we all appreciate Charleston for all of those things, but there's so much excitement and good energy around the future of the city, and I think the Halsey really sparks that. It's really sort of this institution that gets to bridge both worlds. I mean, it's here and it's been here for a while, but it's always been so forward-looking and has always been so refreshing in its thought, and they've been doing it for 30 years. Whatever they're doing in New York is fine, but look what's happening here. The Halsey contributes to that funky, interesting dynamic that I'm, I'm discovering in this city. From when I was a kid to now, there's a lot more interesting art happening in Charleston. I think that the work that comes through the Halsey will stand the test of time because it is so unique.